This episode is going to be a bit different. I'm going to have a bit of a recap and talk about some future episodes because we're going to move away from the Ukraine side of things and just go around the other areas of the Black Sea. So that's Bulgaria, Romania, Turkey, Russia and uh, Georgia and then come back down to the Ukraine. Um, we're going to do this because in order to solidify this theory, we need to identify other sites that are around in other areas around the Black Sea. Um, fortunately, we found pretty much one anomalous site per country going all the way around. We've actually found more than that in each one, but anyway, that's beside the point. Okay, so let's go. Let's get on it. things like this because of the shift away from what was my main focus of the other videos which was Ukraine primarily I thought it'd be a good idea to give you a kind of reference point to go back to just in case you start to forget where the links are <laughs> um, and to give yourself some reference point as well um, because we're going to be covering in future episodes quite a lot of, of different sites that are very likely linked culminating in Georgia which will be the last one that we'll do of this lot this sort of um, side of things if you get what I mean before we go back to Ukraine and follow through from there um, so Ukraine We have four main sites. We have um, the Underground Pyramid in Crimea, which another channel has tried to debunk with a ridiculous story about another black pyramid, a supposedly black pyramid that's basically just a mountain. Um, never heard anything so ridiculous in my life that this is a natural pyramid. They go on about how it's not been excavated yet and the reasons behind it are all these weird stuff that's going on. There's weird stuff going on at the actual site, but the reason why they can't get to it is because it's under 65 million years of rock. A bit difficult, yeah. The guy who found it, Vitalik Go, um, was a, a LiDAR inventor. Invented a, a form of lidar that can actually detect water between beneath the rock, the ground, uh, hidden back office and stuff like that. Um, very interesting fellow. So whoever the guy is at this uh, this YouTube channel attributed to this black black pyramid discovery is a lot of rubbish. So we have that in the Crimea. There's another thing in Crimea as well. And this is um this is a Crimean Kurgan, it's called. It's a, a burial site. Now, put a picture of above it now. That is a grand gallery <laughs> in the uh, the pyramids of well the, the king's pyramid at Giza, yeah, the great pyramid. Looks a bit similar to that, don't it? Yeah, here's another one. That is still in the Kurgan. It's a nice little spiral pattern, yeah, going up into one of the roofs. 
I mean, this thing's amazing. It's fantastic. And you attribute it to a tomb. Mm, there's been no remains found there, so how's it a tomb? Some playing silly buggers again, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that's something for another time. We'll come back to that later after we've been to Georgia. But what we're going to look at next is if we go on the map, you'll find you'll see, if you go to the west in the next region, uh, the uh, Donbass region, you'll get to Rodetta, which is the it's on the western coast, uh, the southwestern coast of Crimea, of um, Donbass or Ukraine. Now, beneath here, they found a, a three-leveled um, tunnel and chamber complex, similar in style to this place, Cappadocia, or Derinkuyu, as it's called in Cappadocia in Turkey, which is something we'll look at later. Very similar in construction. Now, the one in Ukraine, they, um, they estimate it's around 17, it was, was built around the 1700s. I tend to disagree with that, obviously, because... It's a lot of bollocks. <laughs> it's also probably part of the larger complex, of which there are several in Ukraine, believe it or not. There is one in um, Donetsk that they found, um, with that wheel that I showed in one of the previous episodes, uh, so that's Donetsk. In between those, you have Azovstal. Now, Azovstal. So, yeah, Azovstal. It's like a suspicious looking place. all the shenanigans that went on around that area as well it's very suspicious it was the, uh, the fact that they were, the Russians even though they had it under siege were allowing computer equipment to go in there was the civilians that were there that weren't supposed to be there there was so much to that entire area Just immediately, it just makes me think. It's not going on. <laughs> it just makes me really suspicious. It really does. And then there's, there's the fact that Tripoli used to be there, which is the Aratin um, capital city, but they tried passing off as a, a separate uh, civilization, and then. And said I had to walk it back. There's a lot of history in this area, a lot of history. A lot of things are not being told um, for various reasons, various reasons. Um, mostly, mostly because they don't want us to know about it. Why well, don't they want us? Right, I thought we'd have a change of scenery. It's uh, more peaceful and less barking doggy. <laughs> so you can hear me a bit better. Right, so we were going into the why. Why wouldn't they tell us? Why would they keep it from us? There's a good, good few reasons. First of all, the very fact that there is a, a civilization that's even older than the, uh, than the Sumerians is a bit problematic for these guys. Um, it's bad enough having the Sumerians out there cocking up all the narratives without having another even older one doing even more. And also proving the Sumerians right. There's also the technological aspects of them. Um, their advanced technology is extremely problematic because we're meant to be the pinnacle. We're meant to be the best that mankind has got to. And if anything proves otherwise, it proves that we've been held back, stunted, and um, basically robbed of knowledge that's rightfully ours then uh, we're going to be a bit pissed off 
Plus there's the whole aspect of what that technology is, what it does, uh, how it's used, yadda 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 yadda. Like I said, we touched on Richard Seed last time. Um, and this claims, and that's kind of linked in with all this as well. Particularly when it comes to cloning Sidian kings, Sidian warriors. If you don't know who the Sidians are, look them up. So I think we will do a separate video on them at some point. So I need to fix them in this anyway, but that's why. Why they keep this from us. Because then they can keep it for themselves and keep us in the dark. It's the age of sale. Anyway. So what? Well, you look at the whole area of Ukraine. Yeah? You've got Odessa. Yeah? Underground, underground complex in Odessa. Underground complex under Mariupol. Yeah? Under Azovstal. I mean, don't... <laughs> That's vast, yeah? I mean, you just... That thing is a steelworks. The size of a city in and of itself, right? On the coast of the Azov Sea, just outside of Mar uh, Mariupol, which is another quite large city. Beneath Azov Stal, there's a huge catacombs complex, right? What have they got catacombs for there? Yeah? That catacombs complex in, in itself links onto the... Uh, the far more ancient ones that are underneath Mariupol itself. I mean, don't forget that place was the Eratin capital at one point. Yeah? I mean, the place is huge. The place is huge. And all the shenanigans that went on, like I've just described, it's... it's ridiculous. And then you get Donetsk, where they found that wheel that featured in uh, another video. An earlier video. That is a. Uh, that's part of another complex that's under there, and then we have the Chernobyl exclusion zone and all the stuff that goes on there. Now, as for the new stuff, well, this is where it gets fun. Right. So, where's the next episode going to take us? Well. The next ones will be Turkey. Um, we'll be looking at the uh, the tapis, Gobekli, uh, I don't know, it's a the G one you found a couple of months ago, a new one. Looking at them, uh, the Cappadocia, the uh, underground cities around there. I guess you heard that right, cities, there is more than one. Don't care, use just one of them. And then I think we'll then go to either Bulgaria or Romania for the next one after that. That will be uh, looking at some of the ruins that have been found in Romania, taking a deeper look at Saracina in Bulgaria. And then we'll. Uh, we we'll move over to the Georgia-Russian border. Mountain ranges there to have a look at something that Thumper found. Thumper found in its... Uh, it's incredible. It ties everything together. But to give you an idea of what that might be, just watch this little video first. It is the lifeblood of our planet. Arguably the most fought-over resource on Earth. Without it, crops fail sewage is not effectively flushed away and a lack of it will cause dehydration and death in an incredibly short space of time depending on where one were to find themselves thus for our posit of ancient advanced civilizations with populations well into the millions to hold any water a civilization we believe continues to bestow upon us advanced knowledge, ingenious solutions to the most difficult of problems, such as water manipulation and the irrigation thereof, would be present. 
The management and general manipulation of water should in all accounts be present amongst these sites in which we claim to be the work of now lost civilizations, and that is indeed what one finds. There is endless discussion within peer-reviewed papers and academic circles by regurgitation, seemingly lacking the faculty for critical thinking as they continue to look upon these ingenious ancient solutions for getting water to places that it should simply not be as simply wonderful, all incapable of considering that these people who created these structures, although they did not build skyscrapers, may not have been of a primitive nature with far less capable tools than modern man. This, again, I might add, a denial continued when one looks upon the size of megalithic blocks moved through these lost ages of antiquity. Yet, I digress. The following ancient water technique is nothing short of astonishing, and the work that must have gone into its construction unimaginable. Not surprisingly, it is an ancient marvel that did not escape the attention of William R. Corliss. Known as Canats, they are literal underground ancient man-made rivers, built slightly underground for the purposes of shade from the searing sun, found in most of the locations you find the Canats. This, of course, also minimized evaporation considerably inevitably allowing the water to travel unimaginably further into dry and inhospitable locations. These ancient man-made oases, yet another example of not only ancient man's abilities, knowledge, and dedication to overcome obstacles, but also a clue as to how many people these, what we believe are now lost civilizations, who abruptly vanished, housed at an unknown time in history. For such enormous volumes of water are only needed for an equally enormous population, possibly once located somewhere nature wouldn't have allowed, yet with their advanced knowledge of irrigation systems, they flourished within. Canats are yet another incredible remnant left by an advanced civilization, which we undoubtedly find incredibly compelling. Of course I'll go in there, at least I've got to do it Well imagine that, I'm only on the, the country-wide scale. Okay. Um, by, by saying imagine that, what I mean is it's very similar to that. Probably in the way it works, it's used, no. Which is totally different from this mountain, and uh, I can never remember the name, some really annoying Russian name, I'll put it across the bottom here. Yeah. From where that mountain is, going out towards the Black Sea, going out towards the Caspian behind it, slap back in the middle of this mountain, are lakes huge, not huge but deep, huge lakes, uh, no one knows exactly how deep they are, right? there's nothing living in them, one of them's pretty acidic, so it makes you think, what are they for? Mm. You uh, remember these pictures? Yeah? That's a strip mine, modern day strip mine. That's a Black Sea. Yeah. Remember the strip mine mode, the strip mine rings, yeah. Now look at the Black Sea there, yeah. right? And now this is the uh this is Lake Baikal, yeah. And this is the Caspian at this position, right? So what we are thinking, we'll cover this more in a bit, in a more, um, more complete sort of episode on its own, but it's, uh, it's looking like a sort of sluice in a way, maybe, it's definitely an irrigation system, I think. I think we're quite sure of that. 
Um, of course, you need water to clean the oil. It would also be needed to drain out. The Caspian looks very much like a spillway. An overspill. Where water has been pumped out of the Black Sea area. It's put into a sort of floodplain kind of thing. So, like I said, a spillway. And then once you've done that, it's also a way of irrigating the, uh, the land around it. The, uh, <laughs> the oil that you pull out the ground, or whatever it is you're pulling out the ground, we're not entirely sure of that yet either. There's something in that mountain that, honest to God, it blew me the fuck away, it really did. And it kind of ties ancient Sumerian myth, uh, Vedic myths, loads of other myths all together. And that it confirms, literally confirms, that there was some sort of high technology, highly technologically Highly technological civilization, ancient civilization that was there, that likely uh, was forced, to, forced out when the Black Sea Basin was flooded, flooded by uh, by the Mediterranean, eventually breaking through the Sea of Marmara. This was roughly around seven, eight thousand years ago, making the Arata over eight thousand years old. Apparently much far much older than that. Anyway, that's where we'll be looking. We'll also be looking further afield than the Black Sea. And these are the episodes that are coming next before all those before we return to the Black Sea and do all them. <laughs> um we're gonna be looking India obviously, UK US, South America, also um, Middle East, Arabia, and New Zealand, and China, Korea, <laughs> and Russia, and then back to the Black Sea. Thanks to God, we're finding stuff everywhere, yeah? And it all links together, which is even weirder. So, that in mind, like, share, subscribe, you know the drill, and we'll leave you with some uh, preview photos for the next episode. Alright, see you later.